hello guys welcome back to my channel please if this is your first time of coming across my channel please just do me the favor and tap on the subscription button thank you so much so today we are going to talk about the all the controversies concerning tb joshua like two days ago bbc released a documentary on tb joshua stating or people coming out to say so many atrocities tb joshua committed when he was alive in his church um they said that they are some of them are their disciples or some of them are his disciples people that worked with him when he was alive so but there's this particular one i want to talk about now this is a story or the version of a lady who claimed to be tb joshua's daughter but it's apparently this is a daughter he had out of wedlock it's not the you know, it's not the, the, the wife, Evelyn, that gave birth to the to the daughter. So, how my father, late Nigerian pastor, T.B. Joshua, constantly abused me. Ajoke, daughter had outside wedlock. A three-part investigative documentary done by the BBC has revealed how the late Nigerian pastor, Tebitokwe Balogun Joshua, better known as T.B. Joshua, constantly abused and tortured his daughter, Ajoke. In the documentary, T.B. Joshua's disciple claimed that Ajoke was gotten outside lawful marriage and was subjected to a series of torture and humiliation by the late cleric who viewed her existence as a big threat to his reputation as a man of God. Ajoke claimed that he never felt fatherly affection from the late pastor and that her father compelled her to be, to be a disciple to ruin her life. But I wonder how your father will compel you to be a disciple so that he will ruin your life. Did he also ruin other people's life? Even people who are still with him today or people who are still worshipping there, who are still disciples. She said, it was very difficult to watch this man preach every Sunday. Topics about love and about mercy. They feel very strange coming from his lips. I stared myself in the mirror lots of times, so maybe I didn't look like him. Maybe for as long as I can remember, I had been raised as D.B. Joshua's daughter. That kind of things cannot be put into words. I feel like, you know, maybe I really don't deserve to be alive. We are talking about years and years of abuse. Consistent abuse. Abuse that wasn't ending, she said. She added that other disciples also joined her father to compound the humiliation. She said, the disciples were both brainwashed and the enablers. Everybody was just acting based on command like zombies. Nobody was questioning beyond fanatics. Where does your conscience come? How far can your conscience go without some form of accountability? I knew the child, Ajoke, right from birth. She is his actual daughter, his biological daughter from another woman outside of wedlock. One of the disciples also gave his remark on Ajoke's relationship with T.B. Joshua. Ajoke grew inside the synagogue like an outcast. I think he wanted to keep her secret. I don't think he wanted anyone to know who she was. The message about Ajoke was that she had terrible evil spirit that needed to be driven out, another female disciple revealed. He hated her and he punished her for being born. I wonder how can a father honestly you know the way people talk the way they will come out and say all these things i wonder how a father will hate her own son sorry daughter for being born her existence was probably the biggest threat to his reputation what's her fault what has that girl done it pained me she was still very young that time can you imagine how heartless we were the disciples added the allegations of abuse in a secretive Nigerian compound span almost 30 years, more than 25 former members spoke to the BBC from the United Kingdom, Nigeria, US, South Africa, Ghana, Namibia, and Germany, giving powerful corroborating testimonies about their experiences within the church. Spanning three decades to 2029, the British victim we are all between 15 and 21 years old when they joined the church. Multiple BBC interviewees compared their experiences to like being in a cult. Upon his death in June 2021, T.B. Joshua was held as one of the most influential pastors in African history. 
Rising from poverty in Nigeria in 1980s, he built an evangelical empire stretching across the globe and counted among his associates dozens of political leaders, celebrities, and international footballers. The BBC said it contacted the current leadership of the Synagogue Church of All Nations with the allegations in this film. They replied, making unfounded allegations against the prophet T.B. Joshua is not a new occurrence. None of the allegations was ever substantiated. The leadership was quoted as saying, they did not respond to the details of the allegation, BBC said. Now, coming to about uh, what they said he did to her daughter, who was born out of wedlock. From what I read, I never saw what they said the girl did to him. So I, I wonder how he would naturally hate a girl. You know, you, you he gave birth to the girl. He brought him into the synagogue. And you are saying that he hated the girl, that he was torturing him and doing all sorts of, or rather torturing her, and doing all, all sorts of things to her. It's not making sense to me. This is my own view. You have your own view. Well, as they said, no smoke without fire. So, someone wrote something on, on Twitter that caught my attention. As you watch TB's Joshua documentary, please bear what I'm about to say in mind. This is not me supporting him. But I want to state some facts, as I have been following this story since he passed. So, if you are conversant with Skwan, that's Synagogue Church of All Nations, you will know TB Joshua has wise men and disciples. 85% of these white men and disciples are foreigners. Before the prophet passed, these wise men and disciples were very powerful. Most Sundays, they handle deliverance, prayers, and missionaries or ministrations. Also, bear in mind, T.B. Joshua had a wife, Evelyn. She is also a prophetess. She was even a prophetess before, before T.B. married her. While her hobby was still alive, she comes out once in a while to preach and, jo and join in ministering to the church members. At some point, she had a baby or something and now faced home and she rarely preached or do the Sunday deliverance. T.B. Joshua had an overwhelming membership and couldn't handle the prayer line alone, so he ordained those wise men and disciples. Many of these wise men started acting like him. Some became very powerful. Some left to start their respective ministries. People like wise man Daniel and wise man John Chi. They left while T.B. Joshua was still alive. But he still had lots of wise men and disciples. Many of them are not Nigerians. Now, this is where the story gets interesting. Allegedly, when T.B. Joshua died, these wise men and disciples took charge of the church. They said that the prophet intended the takeover. That T.B. Joshua told them that they will take over from him. These guys relegated Evelyn, T.B. Joshua's wife, to the background. Don't forget she is a prophetess. This rancor went full blown. These disciples and wise men fought Evelyn so much, they didn't want her to even appear in the church. They oppressed her so much that one day Evelyn woke up. I don't know who helped her, Sha. But it was alleged that she used the immigration and deported all those white foreigners who wanted to take over the church from her. The way they deported all of them, it was so funny. She dealt with the foreigners and some, some of the Nigerians that joined the foreigners, wise men and disciples. She is currently the lead pastor of, of Skuan. She has fully taken over the church. Guess what? The church is booming. Evelyn has a special gift of healing. Her church services are packed out just like when her hobby was still alive. After reading this story, you should know why that stupid story of T.B. Joshua is surfacing now. Do you understand what is happening here? So if you put one and one together, you will just know why the story, the documentary just came out now. Let's go ahead. Evelyn is the target. How dare she try to fight to take over the church from the foreigners? It is given the vibes of, if we can't have the church, Let's triple it. T.B. Joshua is dead. What's the essence of the story to arrest a dead man or what? Before you join to start bashing, give it a deep thought. Anyway, this is these are not my views. I am not the one that wrote this. The person who wrote it is uh, Joel Chaker on Twitter. He is the person that wrote this. But after reading this, I personally, I was trying to make out sense from what he is saying. But I'm not saying, I'm not condemning the documentary entirely. There might be some elements of truth in it but from what i read here you know when controversies like this comes up there must be something that made it to come 
My question is, when TB Joshua was alive, why didn't they come out to say all these things? Now they say that there's like there's one lady, with Bisola, her name is Bisola, that she was a member of Squan, who got delivered, and she has been trying to, you know, say the truth all this while, but nobody wants to listen to her. Well, I don't know why nobody wanted to listen to her, you know, but that's the version of the story some people are saying. Even T.B. Joshua, being a prophet that he is, even prophesied this thing that is happening now before he died. There's a video I was watching yesterday, released online. He was, he was actually saying everything that is happening now. That they will promote you or something like that. I'll play the video for you guys. That they will, when they talk about you, when there's so, so, uh, so many things against you, that they are advertising you. So, to me, I don't see any relevance to this documentary that BBC released, to be honest with you. Because if you are doing it to cripple the church, T.B. Joshua has so many followers. And in all this, nobody spoke anything about his humanitarian side. All the good things that he has been doing for the people of Ekonsu, nobody said about it. It is only God in heaven who judge who is bad or who is evil. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to like my video and also drop your thoughts at the comment section. Thank you and have a wonderful day.